As pandemic restrictions ease, women have flooded back into the workforce at a faster pace than men. In January, the unemployment rate for women fell for the fourth straight month. But despite small gains at work, women are still doing more work than men at home. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont reports. Let's get the magic wand out. Michelle Young is back at work in Sydney's outer suburbs. Guiding these kids at a playgroup is a welcome change from much of the pandemic when she struggled to find a job. I'm a casual worker, so of course during that time we, I didn't work at all. Michelle is like many women who flooded back into the workforce as COVID lockdowns ended. This may not be her dream job, but she's happy to have it. Bills come through all the time, they just don't stop. Career-wise, did stop my creativity. The seasonally adjusted unemployment rate for women fell in January for the fourth straight month to 4%. During COVID, women left the workforce more quickly than men, but then rejoined at a faster pace after lockdowns. That stop-start pattern may have long-term career impacts. Pulling back on hours, not going for a promotion, not going for a job in a, a different sector where there might be a good opportunity uh, because of that sort of stop-start that they've just experienced. Women like playgroup owner Amy Titchener made gains when it comes to unpaid work at home. I'm quite lucky in that sense, so it's not all on me. The latest statistics show men doing slightly more unpaid work in the pandemic and women doing slightly less. But when paid and unpaid work are combined, women in heterosexual couples are still spending about six hours more per week working than men. What face is Daddy pulling? Amy Titchener says her husband's unpaid work makes all the difference. Lee stepping up and helping with dinner, bath and all that sort of stuff helps me get back to the emails that I'm missing and keep the business sort of up to date as well, along with our family life. <laughs> Sharing the load so business and family can thrive. Norman Hermont, ABC News.